Yo, what's up? This is my um, first ever tutorial. Not 100% sure what I'm doing, but hopefully enough to help someone else figure something out. This is a cover that I'm working on for someone at the moment. Um, I'm going to put this whole Blender file on my Patreon. If you want to grab that, I'll chuck that link in the description thing. So this is... Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to really show how to do any of this sort of stuff, but what I am going to show is how to do the metal on top, or like the... Uh, the metal mesh sort of thing. Um, so I'll be real quick. So first, chuck in a plane, grab yourself a Bezier curve. Uh, it's Shift A to open up this menu as well. This isn't necessarily for beginners, but I think this tutorial on how to use these geometry nodes are actually super simple. So I don't, you need to, don't need to know too much about them. But yeah, so push G in this one to open up geometry nodes which is also just down here and it also goes down into your modifiers too once you have it in so you can always get back to it that way uh so first thing i do is grab the bezier curve the one that you just made uh and with the mesh selected drag that in there so that's the object that it's going to be kind of wrapping the mesh around um, so curve to mesh for the first one, oh for the second one sorry, and curve to circle, so just CC for those, uh, CM and CC for those ones. Do like pretty low resolution, um, the higher the resolution the more detailed it will be, um, and the lower it can be like much more blocky. Uh, check them to relative. Uh, check that into the geometry node. I'm not going to be editing this, so I might make a few mistakes, but I guess it's the best way to learn. This is how I learn. So yeah, so chuck on this geometry from the object info, chuck that into the curve, and the curve into the profile curve, and then that should be good to go. So you can see it kind of popped up here. So this is what the lower resolution does. So if I was to, you know, up the resolution, it goes from kind of super blocky, to like a um just yeah nice rounded heaps of um resolution but i usually just got to 11 because it's gonna be much smaller than that um so yeah and then for the radius this is the size so i'll kind of go down to like i'll just try 0 0.001 and that is that's actually a pretty good size uh for what i'm trying to do so i want to draw draw this uh curve on top of the um, uh, this plane here, so we can kind of just draw on top of anything. Oh, so you can also see it's real blocky at the moment. So to do that, I'll chuck in a remesh, um, shape it smooth, and then you can kind of just keep going back until you kind of find out what you're after. I'll just do it around there somewhere. Um, and don't apply either of these just yet either. Um, now jump into your Bezier curve. Tab to go to edit mode. Um, I always press A and select all. And I delete these vertices. Jump down to the draw. Make sure you're not on the a note. Uh, oh, annotate. I spent about half an hour doing that and realized I was just drawing with the pencil you can't see. It's pretty, pretty shitty, but that's all good. Uh, and then yeah, go on this. Um, Draw tool, yours will originally be on cursor and bezier. So you just want to change that to surface. So it's on the surface of anything you're drawing on. And bezier is like a few kind of like um, anchor points. But you can change that to poly. And now it's much, much more. So you can see it's going on the surface of everything. So it's like kind of touched, I think, the camera. Yeah. So you can see it kind of. It'll just like link like a magnet sort of onto just whatever's around. So that's kind of like the main base of it. And for this one, I was actually going to quickly kind of just like highlight this face. So it kind of looks uh, as if it's kind of cracking through. Or kind of just highlights, if that kind of makes sense. It might do at the end, but I'll have a look. Okay, so jump in a busy curve. I press um, 
control tab on a Mac to go into edit mode. If that helps. Um, and yeah, so now I'm just gonna pretty much just draw. Uh, so I'll draw it around. I'm not gonna draw it perfectly. If you wanna draw it perfectly, you can. I've already done this and finished it. So I'm just kind of quickly showing you how to do it. Uh, usually get rid of the, I don't even know what you call that. Like the view of the points and things like that. So yeah, just draw around that. It's pretty fun, pretty easy. And you're gonna go, go wild with it as well. And you know, start to just draw around ram shapes and things. Uh, these gloopy bits are because of the, so you gotta go out of edit mode every time, because uh, of the remesh. So if I got rid of that or upped it, it would turn it into like kind of straight lines. But I like it kind of looping together, like, you know, if that makes sense, not too sure. Uh, but yeah, this is my first ever tutorial, so I have no idea what I'm doing, but hopefully this is working out and I'll do some more in the future and maybe they'll be better, maybe they'll be worse. I'm not hundred percent sure. But, um, but yeah, so let's just say that you drew the rest of this, you know, just keep going for like, um, quite a while did a whole bunch of cool things that you really like i'm sure it is dope just you know pretend that's it for me um you can keep going as much as you like i'll jump back into object mode and so i mean that's pretty much done if you just want um so it's going to come out white every time and there is a few way in geometry nodes to change the materials and things but to be honest it might be a little bit lazy and it's kind of destructive but I like to just command A and command A. And so now we can get rid of that Bezier curve because it doesn't exist anymore. So the plane has just become what it is here. And so now you can, oh, there we go. Kind of chuck on like a shader of some sort. Um, and I guess everyone just does metal, to be honest. I like doing the organic kind of shapes. Uh, colors, so I kind of prefer to go with these ones. It's a nice little subsurface in there. Um, so now it's kind of just like little, little cool hint sort of things that you can do. So, yes, yeah, so you can do whatever you want here. You can um, change it to any material, kind of anything. Uh, but something I really like to do is uh, that's forward slash to jump into a single object's thing. It's all in private little room. Um, and you can sculpt it. You can sculpt it in any way that you want. So it's kind of good usually to either, you can just smooth the whole thing out. Um, another good way of doing that is chuck and modify and just go to smooth and you can just chuck on what you want. I kind of go like one in 10 usually. So it's real subtle, but there's no like, uh, yeah, there's big jagged edges that were in there before. So that's kind of cool. Um, but I for now, am just gonna do the, just a quick little smooth out whatever um just another tip if for the organic shapes and stuff a really cool thing to do is to kind of destroy the mesh as much as possible it's like where these like kind of two meshes meet and see what creates that like weird i don't even know what you'd call that just a mess it's just a big old mess um the more that you just destroy the mesh the more that it will this is a really bad example, but you might be able to get it. It mixes the colors from the um, subsurface. So it's, my computer's quite, I'm just using a MacBook, so it's super, super slow. Um, but yeah, so that adds in like coagulation or something? I don't know what it's called, but just like the little bits. It just goes black where little cuts are and things like that. Um, so that's kind of cool. Uh, and then you can also, the snake, snake hook tool is pretty cool. So you can just grab that and just give it a jank. You make as much as you want, pull stuff around, make it look all cool, you kind of shape what you want. Um, you can use this to pull it out a bit, you know, so give it like that 3D sort of thing. Not this, <laughs> it's already a 3D app, but that's all right. Um, yeah, so you can just pull it out or you can also go into edit mode, uh, find a point. You can use point, face, whatever. Um, I right, see this point for now. And click on this thing here. Uh, I'm self taught, so I don't actually know the names of most of the things. Proportional reading. There you go. Um, push G to uh, move it, and the circle will come up. And the bigger you make the circle, the more within that circle it will grab. 
So it's cool to go from the sides and then you can kind of just pull like big bits forward. It's super easy and like real, real cool. Um, and it just adds more like depth sort of thing. Um, another thing that I did for this, the final of this that I've just done is I grabbed, because I'm kind of just learning how to use the cameras and things now, and this might be kind of helpful, but I'm not too sure. I just thought it was kind of cool. So you pull something out towards the camera, just like that, and then you can chuck in a empty for the camera um, kind of focus point. Fuck, the terminology. Not good at that, but that's getting there, that's getting there. Um, yes, yeah, so this little point thing, and then you can go into your uh, camera, and you select, and you can kind of pick your depth of field which apparently I've already done. So yeah, it's, it's exactly the same as what I just said. So my other empty should be, oh, it's in the middle down there. So I'll just push it up here. And then what happens will depth of field to like here sort of thing. And these bits coming towards the camera will become to like, like fade out sort of thing. Um, and just make it look like it's kind of flying inwards. I'm not too sure how well that'll work, but let's see. And you can kind of you kind of see so that the field's just like blurring the um the, as it's like going into it I suppose um and I'll show you real quick so I guess these just little weird tips I'm never gonna get this tutorial stuff but I'll figure it out but well hopefully I'll try to do some sort of metallic -y, kind of the classic what everyone kind of does um. Yeah, so I mean, it's kind of like that. You can add some lights and stuff to pick it up more. Um, super, super basic. But a real cool thing as well is this Fluent. I can't remember exactly what it's called. Um, fluent Materializer, I think. Something along those lines. It's only a couple of bucks, I think. But it can add in these really, really, really cool um, textures and things. So there's a tutorial on how to do it when you purchase it. Or power out. I don't really know what you're... What are you feeling like? But you can chuck a new layer and it will just grab like the basic ones. Uh, like the nodes will link up. And you just find the ones you want. So I'll turn the tail up. So now it's pretty much exactly what it was like just a second ago. Um, unfortunately, I see any lights on this one. Uh, yeah, so you can add in things. So like if you want to add in a bunch of little dents to it. Uh, you can just click add, or I think once you change it, it kind of just pops up over here. Which is pretty cool. Um, normal to normal sort of thing. There, there's a whole tutorial on how to do this. It's just, I think this is a really cool uh, application. Or like free, not free, um, like an add-on uh, to use. So it's just like a little tip sort of thing. But yeah, just turn the strength right up and just, because it's quite big, I'll turn the scale right up. So unfortunately, I don't know if you can really see, because my, again, my computer's shit, but there's just heaps of little dents. All through it now and it's just that tiny little bit of texture like really adds like a lot of depth to it instead of it just being a flat image and using lights to kind of show um the 3d or like the light bending around the sides and things like that so yeah that's pretty much how you do the geometry node uh mesh it's super 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 easy so it just depends on what you do with it to you know whatever you want you can make as big as you want you can make as small as you want um yeah, all sorts of little things. Um, so yeah, so that's about it. So I was going to say, this is my first tutorial. So hopefully get better. Um, maybe I'll get a new computer in a few weeks. But for now, I'm just using, I'm just using a MacBook M1. If anyone is ever wondering what I was using. Um, and yeah, so I guess this is an outro of some sort. But catch you later and I hopefully, uh, hopefully make something super, super cool. Um, I'm uploading this entire Blender file uh, to my Patreon as well, which is only five bucks a month, and I pretty much upload all of my Blender files for, for the five bucks a month, and you just get pretty much anything I've made. You can request it and whatever, but with this, you can literally go in and learn every single part of this and the materials, just everything. Um, just work your way backwards from the file sort of thing. Um, so yeah, so that'll be up, I think, in a couple of days probably before this has been uploaded 
but yeah, I'll chuck a link for that in the description. And fuck, thanks, dudes. I'll I'll try and make some more of these. Any requests would be good too, if you can find any, or if you see anything that you're after. So, cheers.